to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Well good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen well, we are getting ready to go. Yeah, it looks like a little dark up ahead of us there, and it looked like it's snowing just a tiny bit. A little bit of flurries. But what else is new? Well, we are here at Timmy's. We got our uh, we got a donut in there. We got our cup of coffee. I mean, it's in our penner cup, but you know, we got our cup of coffee. We are ready to roll, so that's come and join along today. Let's get out of here. Well guys, here we are cruising along the Highway 17 and we just started getting some snow up here. And you see the big lake up here to the right? Usually you don't see as much of it if I'm going the opposite direction, right? to the radio here a few minutes ago and they're talking about all these great lakes up here that are supposed to get tons of snow up here in Michigan so I think they were talking about three inches or four inches or something like that so we'll get a lot of snow up there in Michigan that's where we will be in today yet so not really looking forward to that but hopefully they'll have that McIntyre bridge open though so at least I can get across that that would be the most important that's uh, one thing that they will shut down pretty easily you know if there's a bad storm out there but, oh well I guess we'll just have to wait and see yeah beautiful lake up here to the right that's for sure but this time of the year we got a lot of lake effect snow up here because the lake is not frozen yet so all that moisture comes into the air and then it turns into snow yeah and right now it's slow down it's almost just flurries right now but there uh, a few minutes ago it was coming down pretty hard just before I turned on the camera you know anyways we will be going across the McIntyre bridge today if uh, Everything goes according to plan. You never know. Things can change, right? Weather can change. There might be an accident. They might just simply close down the bridge for the bad storm. And then we will be completely screwed. Because <laughs> that's the only way I can get there. Because if that bridge is closed, either I come back into Canada and go around to uh, Sarnia. That would be about the only option I would have. So that's terrible if that bridge closes but I don't think it will but we'll have to see maybe they'll just escort us or something like that we'll see that's a very very long bridge anyways it's not really cold out here it's like zero degrees right now Celsius yeah well guys I just saw a sign up here saying accident up ahead so uh, I'm looking out to see where we will see an accident. Probably could be right here around the corner somewhere. There it is. There it is. Look at that, guys. Our first victim. Well, I saw a truck yesterday, but wow, he must have fell asleep or something. I wonder what the heck he's doing up there. Wow, I'm surprised he never laid her over. Okay. At least he's got company, so uh, at least they are going to clean him up. I don't know how the heck they're going to get him out of there. I'm just really surprised he never laid her over there. I mean, that's a pretty steep uh, ditch there, you know. Alrighty, guys, we are still cruising along, and it's been uh, up and down, you know. One minute it snows, and then it clears right off, and then we get snow again, and 
it clears right off again but nothing bad you know like it's just on and off on and off that's all right at least it's not snowing to the point where we can't drive anymore you know but we'll have to see up there by michigan they were talking some heavy snow up there so i guess we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best i guess that's all we can do right all right now it's starting to clear up again i might even have to put my sunglasses on Oh, look at this truck here. He couldn't wait till this passing lane would come up till he would get out of the lane there, you know? Oh, man. Some drivers, you know? There he goes. Some people just have no patience, you know? Alrighty, guys. The scale up here is open. So, we gotta go across this DOT scale is just before South St. Marie. We are very close to the border. Yeah. I've been across this scale before. In 200 so. meters. Turn right on. Lake Superior Circle. So we kind of know what to expect up here. Way station ahead. Yeah, way station ahead. I'm kind of curious to find out what my weight is anyways. So well, let's see what they got to say to us today. That's good. Yeah. I'm still right on the limit with my weight. So we ain't going to be able to fuel anything for a while anyways. Well, I almost think we should almost be able to make it up to uh, our delivery place without having to fuel we just got a bunch of four wheelers here so we can't make our turn but I think we can make it after this one there we go now ah, we're in the clear now there we go so I already looked it up road for 15 kilometers there is a little truck stop there just past the border and I uh, went ahead and called them up and I asked them if they take Condata carts. They said yes they do and they also do have truck parking in there so I'm going to go swing her in over there and get me some cash. I need some cash to pay for that um, McIntyre Bridge you know. Yeah, that's usually about 25, 26 bucks to cross that McIntyre Bridge. So we need some dinero, cash, cash money. That's right. But first, we got to go through Sault Ste. Marie. That's right. We got 15 kilometers to go until the GPS tells us we gotta make a right hand turn. And I'll have to keep an eye on it because I very rarely do I ever cross here. And I know back in the day when I crossed, the GPS was all crazy with the roads there. It didn't have them all updated and stuff like that. So if I was going all over the road and it was telling me that I'm not taking the right roads and this and that. So. 
we're going to have to keep a real close eye on it make sure we're actually getting to the border you know because <laughs> we don't want to end up somewhere where we're not supposed to that's right alrighty guys here we are preparing to cross the International Bridge of South St. Marie I come this way before and I've also gone that way before but they got that whole thing under construction there it's kind of uh, a little confusing there on how you're supposed to get on there but we managed to get onto the bridge finally took us a little while but figured it out yeah we certainly did we figured it out that's right here we are going to be entering the United States here very soon well got some drops dropping onto my windshield that's right so do not pass well we ain't gonna do that are we no I don't think so this is 50 kilometers an hour that's the speed limit up here but yeah there's a lot of water up here we got like a dam up there or something not sure exactly what it's all for but got some kind of dam it's a fairly long bridge too here we are crossing border entering Michigan that's right now we're in Michigan officially yeah anyways we'll see you guys on the other side well guys we are across the border we've been across the border here for a little bit but uh, we decided to pull right after the border into a little tiny weeny truck stop I needed to get some cash vans because we got a uh, on this road for 145 miles. that McIntyre bridge ahead of us so we got to have some cash so I had to go take some cash in vans so I can pay for this toll highway up here or this bridge up here you know alrighty guys here we are coming up to the McIntyre bridge well we are already on it for a little bit I guess you could say but uh, this is a very long bridge and it cost me 25 bucks to cross this bridge that's right we gotta have our four ways going yeah I'm supposed to keep 500 feet between trucks I know it's kind of dark in here already but I figured I'd try and get it on video anyways I know I had it on a while back ago but hey sometimes it's cool to show it again since we got some new subscribers and then for those who enjoy a nice beautiful scenery like this hey why not right why not see it again yeah look at that I like that truck with them lights on there that looks pretty cool a lot of lights like that that's nice yeah 20 miles an hour loaded trucks all right I guess we'll just have to keep it real easy <laughs> yeah I went through some of the details uh, about this bridge on my previous video so we're not gonna go through that again but if you want to know check that video out. go to my archive and you will see it in there it's called crossing the McIntyre bridge or something like that so you can find all the info about it on there that's right I think this one is like five miles long or something like that this bridge so Stick around, enjoy it. What's up, big it? Hello there, driver. Can I sit down and buy you a cup? This truck stop and coffee we both know will fix you right up. I can't drive a big rig, but man, I play a lot of shows. I'll leave the driving to you as they can sing in these tunes Cause it's the only life I know I'll pick the guitar 
and you drive the truck. Hey, I play the gigs, and you drive the rigs. You know it's in our blood. I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love. I'll pick the guitar, and you drive the truck. Tell us about it, Mo. Well, I better get it going If I'm gonna make Dallas by noon I pick a little guitar for jamming the gear Don't have to do After four million miles You think there's nowhere left to go And I'll climb back up That old truck Cause it's the only life I know So you pick the guitar and I'll drive the truck You play the gigs and I'll drive the rig You know it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Living this life we love You pick the guitar I'll drive the truck Yeah, I'll pick the guitar I'll drive the truck Yeah, I'll play the gigs I'll drive the rig in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Of living this life we love I'll pick the guitar And I'll drive the truck You pick the guitar Hey, you got the truck Watch that Jake break. It's getting in our song here, boys. Hammer down, boy. I'm gonna head it on back to Nashville now. Oh, grind them gears a little bit so I can hear you. That's awful pretty truck you got there, Mo. Oh, boy. Won't you park that old truck? Come on down to Nashville with me and do a little singing. Oh, I'm just a cowboy on my way back to Houston. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. Yeah. I am at a rest area here in Michigan. Yeah, by Bay City, Michigan. That's where we are at. We are done for today. I was gonna go down there to the uh, Flying J just down the road up here, but uh, and then I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna stay right here I was a little bit afraid that maybe that flying J is probably packed in there and probably wouldn't get parking in there so I figured ah, I'll just take it safe and plenty of parking in here as you just saw I mean you can see nobody parked past that yet and there's quite a few spots open there yet I think there's only like three trucks on that side and there's almost as long as of a length up here that way as there is that way so plenty of parking in here so I figure out ah, nice and quiet in here probably so figure what well, I'll call it a day I'll be done and then we'll continue on tomorrow we got 110 miles to go so about two hours worth of driving that shouldn't be too bad so we leave here around 6 30 ish or something like that yeah we can still be there fairly early yeah anyways that's about all i got for today so with that being said remember we are seven days behind also don't forget to give me that thumbs up share the video because that's very important because if you like the video somebody else probably does too and if you share it on your social media sites hey more people are going to find out about me right and that's good and if you're new to our channel, we would love it if you hit that subscribe button. And that will notify you whenever I upload a new video. Which is generally scheduled for 2 a.m. every morning, Central Standard Time. Up here in North America. Because <laughs> I do know we have a lot of people from South America watching too. Or, or Europe or other countries, you know. So, uh, anyways, that's all. Have a good one, everybody.
get going It's time to move on Put this behind me That day is gonna come 